next song on the album is What Do I Know? And that started with y'all. I wasn't even there for the the the, for the whole, first ride on the it. whole pretty much process of of what do I know? You guys started that with Sherwood, right? Yep. You you two yep. and Sherwood. Back in the old Which I thought was a really cool combination of people in the room, mm -hmm. you know. And then y'all sent it to how did the so how did that idea come about? Where did what even sparked what do I know? I think at some point I was just doing that kind of Johnny Cash inspired guitar and mm -hmm. I don't I don't remember if it was you or Sherwood who who brought up Sherwood's not here, so it was me. <laughs> <laughs> he had his shot. <laughs> no, we should ask Sherwood, but I remember being inspired by what you were doing and I remember spitting out those first few lines. Uh, the, I think red lipstick on a woman's lips. Oh, I knew that sexy. was you all day. I think Coke's okay, but it's way oh, yeah. be better with Jack, and you said way damn better with Jack. Nah, just for the syllable. Just for the just syllable. Just for the syllable. And, and then I said, cadence. I think the Outlaws, Waylon, Johnny, and I tried to cram a third one in there, and so we paired that back, and Jesus coming back, and we knew that we had something, mm -hmm. and we knew we had something that he was going to want mm -hmm. to put his. Fingerprints. I think I sent it to him that day. You um, did. I remember when I first, when you first sent it to me, I heard the first line. Uh, I think red lipstick on a woman's lips looks sexy, and it's not typically something that I would say in a song. But I kept listening. I love the vibe, and when you got to the end of it, you said, "I, I believe, I think Jesus is coming back." I was like, "What I thought was so cool is there's these three super simple things that don't really have any like." heavy meaning to them but you bookended it with this thing about jesus coming back and then the chorus i of course related to because two words hammer and a crescent wrench mm -hmm. i know i know all about that so and then the what do i know so i remember playing it and um my drummer at time will was hanging out in the living room he was staying there with me that night and he heard it and he came in there and was like dude this is badass what is this and i was like well buddies wrote it and sent it to me and then the second verse was the same way. What was the original last line? Do you remember the original second verse? Uh, so I rem I remember that it was. Uh, I think six strings. Moonlight tell a story. M moonlight. When's the, when's the moonlight line? So I moonlight, think it's still the best night light for lovers, and neons where the broken hearted go. Yeah. Neons where the broken hearted go. Yeah. That was great too. And then the chorus was was put together. It was done. And then you guys just had a chorus at the end of it, I think. Yeah, there was no bridge. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So I remember just jamming it and thinking, man, th what what is the song trying to say though? Like it was it was all cool, colorful lyrics, but I it felt like it wanted to get to a point. And I tried to write some stuff for it and, and wasn't getting anywhere. And then I remember I laid down to go to bed that night, and at the time I was like trying to journal consistently and I had this book laying beside me and I woke up or wasn't quite asleep yet but these lines came to me and I just started writing and it's one, one thing that I've noticed over the last few years especially and I think it's been going on for a long time but it's been very amplified since COVID and and all of the turmoil that's been going on in the world you got all these people stand that have created this huge divide between each other, you know, standing across these picket lines, holding up signs about one thing that we disagree on. When I know there's a million other things behind that one thing that we usually do agree on. And I was just thinking about that. And it came to me, you know, I think the grudges only hurt the ones who hold them. Sometimes we could agree to disagree. I believe we're going to reap the seeds we're sowing, so I try to keep my head down and conscience clean. And I want to give Morgan Wade props for that because I've been listening to Morgan a lot, and something about her music really inspired that whole verse for me. So I wrote that down and made a work tape, and sent you guys back your song with everything I thought was wrong with it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and, uh, but no, I, as, soon as, as soon as we put that together, it was... I, I don't know. I just chase a feeling. You guys know me well enough to know now. If if the feeling's there, then we pretty much know at the end of the right whether that song's going to be on a record or not at this mm -hmm. point. Yeah. But I feel like that song, for something that starts so simple and has such, like, 
easy to follow along lyrics. It says so much to just with those last lines of the verse and that bridge and and it's been the best performance song we've put out since my boys so far and in its first month, you know, so that's really good. I'm just a hard working